If you keep seeing these viral do-it-yourself Halloween videos every time you open social media like I do and wonder, is it really as easy as they make it look? Then you're in the right place. I'm going to start testing out some of these viral do-it-yourself videos to find out how easy and affordable they really are to make. The Halloween DIY project I'm doing today is a silhouette for your window that's backlit. I'm really excited about this one because I have two big picture windows in the front of the house and if it works, it will be perfect for Halloween. So the first thing I did was I went to Google and searched for Spooky Silhouette. There are a ton of options to choose from, so I had to decide which design I wanted for my windows. The next thing I did was got foam board for the window and cut it to fit the shape of the window. The design that I chose for this window is only tall on one side, so I only made the template tall on one side. Then I went ahead and taped both sides of the seams so that it was more sturdy. The next part of the video is tracing the silhouette. Most of the comments I saw in the video were questioning how they were able to do this. So I came up with two different ways that are both pretty easy that you can do at home. The first way is to print and cut out your silhouette. I ended up having to use an X-Acto knife to get the details. And the more details you have, the harder it's going to be to do this. Then after I had it all cut out, I took a flashlight and shined it behind the silhouette. It did take a lot of adjusting to get it focused and to get the right size. But the main problem I found with this one is that you really need a second person to hold the flashlight and silhouette in place. It was very difficult to get it propped up on something and to stay in place where you needed it, but this option does work. The second option is one that I ended up using and it is to make your own projector. I used this video from YouTube to get the basics on how to make a projector. Then I cut a hole the size of my magnifying glass in an old shipping box. Then I used a little bit of tape to hold it into place. Although this option wasn't perfect, it did work better than holding a flashlight. So in the original video, they used a marker to trace the silhouette. I'm just going to use chalk, that way if I make a mistake or I don't like something, I can just wipe it off with a damp cloth and do it again. So for the projector to work, you have to flip your phone upside down. There's a lot of adjusting to get the size and focus you want. And then I just used a towel to hold my phone in place. Then I was able to easily trace my silhouette. For this window, I wanted it to be a spooky graveyard scene with a spooky haunted house in the middle. So after I traced the house, I was able to add the tree in, and for the gravestones, I just drew those by hand. In the original video, it shows using an X-Acto knife to cut out all the details. This part for me was a lot harder than I was hoping it would be. I don't know if it was because my foam board was too thick, but I used a new blade with my X-Acto knife, and it still took a ton of effort to cut through the foam board. If I were doing it again, I would probably use a utility knife to cut through the foam board because the X-Acto knife just wasn't doing it. After I got everything cut out, I had to go back and clean up the edges from all the places the X-Acto knife didn't cut all the way through. So the next part of the video shows them putting the cutout back in the window and taping lights to it. I decided it would be easier to put the lights on before I put the cutout back in the window. And because I just don't feel like the tape is going to hold up over time, I'm also going to be using hot glue to hold my lights into place. I'm going to tape them as well just to save some time because they will move around until the hot glue cools off. And in the video, it looks like they've just taped the cutout to the window, which I'm sure works just fine. But I found these little suction cups and I thought they would be a better solution and they were really easy to attach to the cutout. And with the suction cups, it also allowed me to make a couple of bats that will be flying in the window. So this is what the cutout looks like on the inside of the window. The backs of these don't look very pretty from inside the house, but with the sheer curtains shut, it doesn't look so bad. These turned out so much better than I thought they were going to. I can't wait to get all my Halloween lights up on the porch. They're going to look so good for Halloween. 
So how did this do-it-yourself Halloween video measure up? This one was much more difficult than the video made it look. It took me about two hours to do each window, but if you have the time and effort to put into it, it's definitely worth it. Just know it's not gonna be a quick 30 minute craft. My cost was about $20 per window. I bought the foam board, lights, and suction cups. Your cost will vary depending on how big your window is and if you have to buy things like tape, knife, hot glue gun that I didn't include in my price because I already had them. But overall, I would for sure recommend trying this one out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching and if you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time!